Nuvo Iron How to Install Square Balusters for Decks. You'll need to purchase two 2x4s for your top and bottom rails, material for your handrail such as another 2x4 or our decorative handrail, and appropriate fasteners to secure the handrail. You'll also need one pack of square balusters in the height you require, one pack of square baluster deck connectors, four rail connectors with the appropriate fasteners if not included, as well as post caps and post base covers for each post. Today we're going to be installing deck railing with the sleek and elegant Nuvo Iron Square Balusters, perfect for decks, porches, gazebos, and more. You'll need a pencil, drill, saw, square, level, clamps, mallet, and a tape measure to complete your project. It's important to make sure this product, as well as the fasteners you use, are right for your project. You can learn more about this at nuvoiron.com. Next, decide which baluster height works for you. Our square balusters are available in three heights. Our 26 inch balusters are designed for a finished railing height of 36 inches high. Our 32 inch balusters are designed for a finished railing height of 42 inches high. And the 36 inch balusters are designed for a finished railing height of 46 and a half inches high. Now let's start measuring the opening between the section's posts. Once you have your measurement, mark your top and bottom rails. Next, we're going to remark our rails to account for the rail connector hardware. Subtract the thickness of your connectors from the final measurement. Now you'll have your final rail cut measurement. Now we're going to grab our saw and cut the rail sections. Now that your rail sections are cut, clamp both rails together. Measure the section and divide it in half to find the center point of the railing and mark this spot. Next, we'll install the SQMDRA baluster connectors. For most sections, starting at center and marking every four and a half inches will result in clean up-to-code spacing once your balusters are installed. For some rail sections, you may have to start slightly off-center to ensure the spacing between balusters near the end of the rail is as even as possible and also doesn't leave too large of a gap between the last baluster and the post. It's also important to ensure the spacing between balusters or baluster to post once installed never exceeds 4 inches for safety reasons and to comply with building codes. Your rail connector screws will go in about 2 inches into the rail, so we also need to keep that in mind as well when marking to make sure the baluster isn't installed too close as we don't want it to interfere with these screws. That's why we suggest marking where all your connectors will be placed first before installing them to make the planning and installation itself as successful as possible. Now, attach your fastener portion of the connectors to the marking on your rail. Make sure to stay on the center of your marks when attaching each connector. Next, you'll attach the connector portion of the SQMDRAs to each of the fasteners. Then, unclamp the rails. With your top rail on its side and against a stable surface, attach the balusters to the connectors. Have someone help you hold the rail section down while you're installing. Once the balusters are attached to the top rail, grab your bottom rail and align the connectors to the balusters. We suggest just seating them into the connectors until the full section is aligned. Then you take a mallet and tap the bottom rail into place to attach the full railing section together. With that done, let's attach our rail end connectors. Slide the DRCs over the ends of the rails and attach with screws provided through the back of the brackets into the rail. To determine where to install the section on your post, measure and mark the finished railing height required to meet your local building codes. This measurement is taken from the surface of the deck to where the top of the railing would be installed. If using a handrail, subtract its thickness from the final install height measurement to account for it. Note the space between the surface of the deck and the bottom of the railing section once installed should not exceed 4 inches. You can use scrap wood to temporarily hold the rail. Place the section so the top of the railing meets your railing height mark, then install it using the screws provided with your rail end connectors. For longer railing sections, you can add support by installing blocking. Measure, cut and attach the blocking to the bottom rail before installing the railing section. Decided to use a handrail? We'll be using the Nuvo Decorative Pressure Treated Top Rail, but you can also use a 2x4 or deck board. Next, measure your handrail the same way we measured our top and bottom rails. Cut your handrail to fit. Then attach the rail using fasteners that work best with the thickness of your material. We'll be using number 8 fasteners 2.5 inches in length. 
Now that we've installed our deck railing, we're going to accessorize our posts. And that's it! You've successfully installed one section of railing with surface mount square balusters. Now you've completely transformed your outdoor space and created a beautiful and complete look that'll last you for years. For more information about this or any of our other products, visit nouveauiron.com.